Hey everyone, Clarky Shire here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're back and we are with Too Bad for Xbox for Zombies Replay Episode 4. If you never saw the last three episodes, we done episode 1 with Too Bad for Xbox. Thank God for the mad lad for joining me for World at War again. Thank you, Mr. Too Bad for Xbox. We had Nuba oh, yeah. Gaming on Verrupt and we had Expert Fusion on Shinonuma. And this episode we have Xbox back due to the fact that some people don't have World at War on Xbox. So I thought I'd help Xbox again and Again, do check out do check out Xbox in the link in the description below. Absolute mad lads. Xbox, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I've been here before, so. The, the mad lads have been here before. If you never saw episode one, Xbox was the first person to ever join Zombies Replay, so this is legendary moments. And this episode we oh, are yeah. doing Doris. If you never saw the last episodes, like I mentioned before, we've done Shin and the Map, Verrupt, and Nacked. In this episode, we are doing the Reese episode 4. So, again, to explain stuff, I will be asking Xbox questions on how he feels about the map and such. Then I'll be answering them as soon as he's answered the question. Then, after that, at the end, we will rate it out of 10 and a reason why. And we'll be playing the map for 30 minutes in total. So, yeah, let's hop right into it. Are you ready, Xbox? I am ready. Alright, let's hit it up. Some Doris And the 30 minute timer has started. Oh my god, what a... This, this game just it feels weird playing World at War Doris. Okay, so Xbox. I've asked you some of these questions before. I've added some new questions and I don't think I personally asked you. And they're more properly laid out like last time instead of just me thinking of the questions on the top of my head. Like the first episode. <laughs> so what was your first okay. personal experience with playing the map on Doris? And like, what did you think about it first? Ah, uh, Doris World at War. Honestly, uh, I was playing with my big brother. And we were camping on the catwalk, going to round 16. Oh man, good memories. I remember I got the uh, Wonder Wolf, and my brother got the Reagan, I think. Mm -hmm. I also got the SDG, and man, we had one heck of a time. Damn. And also the dog creeped me out. Damn, very interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, when the Reese came out, like you said, um, like loads of tutorials were coming out, how to survive high rounds, like the catwalk, pack punch. Um, it was really, really interesting. Like, this was probably one of the maps I was hyped for the most, um, aside from Verrupt. Um, when I saw Shino Numa and stuff, I was just like, uh, cool. You get actual characters that we have storyline to. And, um, obviously they continued it with Doris, and Doris is definitely a fan favourite map with the whole Zombies community. I literally can't think of one person who really does hate Doris. Unless, like, they do like Doris, and there's just more maps out there that they do like, like myself. Um, but it really is good, Doris. It's a chilled out map, and it was honestly one of the things that made Zombies big, in my personal opinion. Like, Zombies was, again, supposedly to be cancelled, but... Here in Ho, we have Doris, and look what it did for the Zombies community. Really awesome map, brought in a cool wonder weapon, the Wonder Wolf that came from Shinonuma. Got nice perks, got some nice traps, got the dogs in, just a simple, plain map. And it was really, really fun to be honest, I had really, really fun. Um, heck, granted I always played solo, sure, but uh, it was really, really fun. I really did enjoy World of War for that. The Verrupt, uh, Therese for what it was, uh, Xbox. Also, this is the first time we've seen Pack-a-Punch. Yeah, true that. This was the first map to ever introduce Pack-a-Punch, lads. So, uh, thank god for the- okay, Dicky right, Zombies. I'm on the way, I'm on the way, I'm on the way, I'm on the way. <laughs> Xbox is already here in World of War, Therese. There you go. He's he's not- We said we'd rate it out of 10 at the end. He's rated it as 0 out of 10 at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Xbox, so what is the thing you don't necessarily like about Doris? Well, for one, as you saw, SICKY ZOMBIES! <laughs> two, uh, two, uh, honestly, I really can't find a second one. Doris is just an all-time favorite map of mine in World of War. Mm -hmm. Besides Sticky Zombies. Yeah. Like, even with on co-op, it's so fun to, like, chill with your friends. And on solo. Bro, training up in the flipping trap by power. Oh, so yeah. So cool. So cool. It's just like one of those maps. It's like, I swear to God, there's got to be one map from every Call of Duty Zombies game that's just chill. Let's take World at War, for example. Doris. BO1, probably Doris Remastered, to be honest. Or Kino, most likely. And um, for like Black Ops 2, you have Bloody Buried. 
Uh, for B for X always you have Outbreak. I'm gonna be honest with that. Um, <laughs> for Black Ops Three, uh, you have the Giant. But if we're not counting remasters, I personally say Revelations. Um, and then for like Black Ops Four, you have like Alpha Omega, Infinite Warfare, Zombies Space Line, and Raven of Redwoods. And for like World War Two, you have the Final Reich. But apart from that, there's just loads of chill maps out there where you could just hop on, play your friends. You don't even need to do the Easter egg. You could just have a fun time doing the Easter egg or not. Even though doing the Easter egg is cool, it's just it's really not needed because just having a chill out time. You're chilling out. You're doing nothing. It's just really, really chill. And I just got an achievement for using the might of the monkey. Um, so yeah, um, there's really nothing necessarily I don't like about the Reese, like you said. It is just a chill playing map. Um, yeah, again, this is World at War Doris, so keep that in mind, lads. Um, like Xbox says, sticky zombies in this was really, really annoying. And I remember when Relaxing in did post like a lot of zombies. Wasn't there like a hacked lobby or like a super mega glitch on this map or whatever? I can't remember what it was, but apparently there was like 500,000 insta-kills or something. Or someone had the insta-kill oh. drop as their head. I, I, I can't remember, but it was wild. I think I've seen it, yeah. It was wild. Um, but the race as a whole is a really, really beautiful map. Um, it's really, really just chill. Again, there's really nothing bad I can say about the race. Um, like Tim Hansen said, it is that map. Um, it's just a chill axe. Just go to have fun with friends. You have pack punch, you have perks, you have traps, you have camping strategies. It's ideal. It's, it's just completely chill. For the next question, Xbox. If there was anything you could change or add to the map, what would it be? I don't, I don't know, honestly. Maybe a good change to the map? Okay, you know the thing with the Wonder Wolf and Juggernaut, right? Yes. Yeah, definitely change that. <laughs> <laughs> That's annoying. Dual wield weapons. Like, Ooh. we know how you pack a bunch of cold M1911, right? Yes. You don't get the Mustang Sally. Mm -hmm. Bro, you get this weird looking grenade launcher piece of garbage. Yeah, uh, I want the Mustang and Sally's, please. Mm. So, uh, that's another thing. Fair yeah, enough. Dual, dual weapons weren't a thing in World of War, so, yeah. And also, you know the M1 Garand with the grenade launcher, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with that thing, I really want the grenade launcher to have some sort of, like, extra thing when you pack punch him. So Ooh. when you pack punch the M1 Garand, like, only the M1 Garand is only pack punch, not the grenade launcher. Grenade launcher is still the same. Like, mm. if they were to add, like, you know, like, extra damage or, like, you know, some crazy, that would have been cool. Yeah, so, that, that would be really cool. Um, so, if I had to change or add something to the map, uh, yeah, i definitely change the jug with Underwolf. Uh, yeah, that's a definitely um, <laughs> a big thing that I'd change. Um... Honestly, like I said, there's really nothing to check. No, actually, no, I was just thinking about this. Um, Xbox, if you did, uh, in the first episode, you heard that uh, if World at War remasters and stuff had to come back, I'd personally like a viable ending. Because it's oh, specifically yeah. World at War. The race with an Easter egg ending or something, I think would be really, really cool. And I, I know I've said this in many of the World at War episodes i know um but just world of war as a whole it would just feel really cool because like kino like i don't know the story of how like the characters got to the like from the reese to kino i really do not know the story behind that i know how like they went to kino to ascension and stuff but with the reese there's just there's really nothing to me i don't know but like when it comes to uh kino and that i do really want uh like an ending of some sort don't get me wrong but Hell, I would definitely like an ending to Darice. It would really, really be interesting to see, like, what would the Darice ending be? Um, so that is definitely something that I'd look into. Wait, but now that I think about it, looking at, thinking about the giant intro cutscene, I actually do know how Darice works, so I'm small brain for that. Um, but there's really nothing that I could change or add to the map. Uh, but definitely, like, I wouldn't mind Bible endings for, like, World at War remasters or such. So, yeah, that's something that I would personally 
add to the map. So it's what. So what is like the things you like about Doris? Oh man. There's a lot. First of all, the catwalk. Oh my gosh. The most iconic part of Doris and uh, Pack a Punch. Honestly, when this map first came out and I used Pack a Punch for the first time, that was amazing. I right, had teleporters, they used to teleporters. That was oh, a new yeah. thing, and honestly, I have made so many clutch spots with them. Like, you know, uh, by the SCG wall by right? Yes. That's where I sometimes train. I go to the teleporter, and whenever I need to go, boom. Easy like that. And oh. I get, I can get out of any situation. So that was a cool little thing. And, um, yeah. Wow, really interested. Um, yeah, like you said, and this is, this is what we should have said. Like, this was the first map to bring in teleporters. Um, I, there's, there's a really a lot to like about the reese, let's be honest. Um, you have the teleporters, you have the bowie knife, you have the wonder wolf within the map, you have pack a punch, you've got the ideal perks. Everything's just chill about the reese. You've got uh, a cool easter egg. The flytrap easter egg, that's definitely really really cool there. And I do like what they did with the giant a bit more with the teleporters, like you see like zombie Richtofen and that there, but that's saved for another episode of Zombies Replay in the future. Um, but definitely it is really really cool what they did with the teleporters and stuff. Definitely one of the, like, well, probably one of the best ideas in zombies in my opinion. Um, there's really nothing much I could say apart from that. Um, Pack Punch was definitely really, really cool for the first time, how it changes the camo, you see a bit of, like, uh, glowing lights coming off of your gun every time you shoot, um, that was cool, and, oh no, just, it was, just, Doris was just a chill map, and there's loads of stuff to like about Doris, heck, there is a lot of stuff to dislike, well, not really, um, <laughs> if, like, well, Technically, there is a lot to dislike, like, if you've just started either in the Black Ops 2 or the Black Ops 3 era. So, it all depends on where you started, if, if for someone who doesn't like the race. Um, but apart from that, that's really it, to be honest. Oh, go on, sorry. What else say? Um, stacked Bouncing Betty's, hello? Fuck! What about that? That was... Oh, man! That was nuts! Those are just so fun. We need so get, fun to use, man. We need to get Bounce and Bays on our next one, so if we don't get Bounce and Bays, what is this episode? Um, I'm just stacking by the catwalk. Oh, or, yes. Yeah. In the catwalk. This man has big brain, lads. For the storyline-wise, Xbox, what do you think about Doris? If you know any storyline. Well, during World of War, I wasn't that much of a story kind of guy. Yeah, I mean, I was yeah. interested by the change of characters, and I realized that Dempsey was like the oldest one, right? He was starting in Barak, and he came to Shinonuma, where we met the full Ultimus crew. Yeah. And uh, well, yeah, that's what I was really interested about, just the characters. But the storyline and whole, um, honestly. I did not give a poop, and uh, <laughs> yeah, but I was very interested to see uh, Bo One Kino and the transition from Doris to Bo One Kino. Mm. That's one thing. Yeah. Alright, that's. And cool. also the uh, hide and seek Easter egg. That was another thing which I was very interested about. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know too much about it, but uh, that was the first time I heard uh, Maxis and some uh, well. For, not the first time I heard Samantha, but you, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, man. Yeah, I guess that's all for line. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like like Ace said, the characters uh, and Shino Numa lads. The characters that we play as Doris were first introduced in Shino Numa, and like Ace said, it is really really interesting because we just played as a couple of Marines in that too. We really don't know who. And uh, if you guys ever saw the Verrupt episode, Nubi. Uh, named as the characters from Verot, we had like John Banana and stuff. I never knew the characters until Nubi said that, so yeah, big shouts to Nubi. <laughs> but, um, but, um, what's it called? Doris was really interesting to see like how the characters would reflect on this map. And like, thinking of the giant cutscene now, it's like there is a lot of backstory to Doris if you do think about it, just with the giant cutscene and stuff, and like. It just would have been interesting to see an ending cutscene to the Reese, like specifically the World of War version of the Reese. Um, heck, granted, I don't think it will ever happen because how how old is this game now? Fucking ten years, eleven years? I lost count. Um, but the Reese was really really cool for the storyline in a way. Like it was important, it was needed, but 
it was something that like I don't think anyone would care about, but if the recent never happened, I get a feeling like maps like Kino wouldn't happen. And again, speaking of Kino, do you remember that Kino was supposed to be DLC four for fucking World at War? <laughs> oh yeah. Um, that's, <laughs> a, that's something we've got yeah. to bring up for Zombie Street Play Episode Six. Um, but it, it was really, really interesting to see like what Derice brought to the table. As for storyline, again, me and Xbox, we don't know shit about the storyline unless we're like BO3 or BO4, but apart from that, that's it. Um, also, I've seen some little uh, tapes, like you know the one by Spawn right next to the barrels where yeah, you hear yeah. Max asking a zombie? Mm -hmm. That was like when we first played Derice, that was the only one I found, and I, I still uh, can't find any others. But I know that there are more out there, because I've seen some videos on it, so... Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. There's got to be more out there. If it's not, then what is this game? Um, but yeah, I definitely agree with what you said. Oh god, I had the Panzer Shrek. Xbox, you need to survive! Um, but it was definitely really interesting with what they did with this map. Storyline-wise, like you said, the radio tape at spawn and stuff. That was cool. Um, but I don't know, there's really nothing else I could say. Apart from the fact that uh, storyline was kind of... Yeah, it, it was interesting, but it's not the map where someone would focus on the storyline a lot because there's a lot of focused gameplay when it comes to Doris. So, yeah, there's really nothing much I can say. And uh, Xbox, yeah, it's all up to you, my guy. It's all up to you. You're the last lone survivor, the drunk Nikolai. Uh, this is going to end up bad, bro. This is going to end up bad. <laughs> don't worry, fam. You got this. So, all right. In the meantime, let's continue on. So, if... So, Xbox, would you be okay... If this map would come back as a remaster or a remake, and the reason why? <laughs> oh man, honestly, I wouldn't be mad. Wow. Cause there are many more things to explore in Doris. Like, yes. ah man, there are closed doors like uh, you see out there, right? We can have that part opened up and explore that area. Uh huh. Like, there are just so many things that yeah. we haven't explored yet. Yeah, there is a lot of things to do. It's like, it's been remastered in Black Ops 1, you have the original World at War, it's not been in Black Ops 2, unless I'm somehow wrong. Um, it's in Black Ops 3 and actually, yeah, to be honest, I'm pretty sure. But honestly, I wouldn't mind it coming back as a remaster, honestly. But like, for BO4 system, as much as I do like BO4 and I don't mind the system, i definitely say a big no for it to come back as in the BO4 system. Um, for so, like a new system, maybe for the new Call of Duty that's coming up, I wouldn't mind it. Um, but again, like I've said with like this question and Sheena Numa for Rock to not, if they did have to bring it back, they'd have to do something that that's big, something that the other versions of the Reese has never done before, like a Bible ending or new areas to explore, like they did with classifieds. Um, yeah, they, they'd have to do something big, um, but oh no, I wouldn't mind a remaster. Um, but a remake, I definitely, I definitely would want over a remaster for the race personally. As much as as much as I love the race, and I just got monkeys for the first time again. Um, as much as I love the race, I definitely would choose uh, a remake over a remaster, specifically just for the race. So yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna say there. Also, um, I would love for those burning buildings if we could. Oh yeah, and th there's got to be some stuff like for there. There's got to be some stuff to explore in there. And these dogs are painted by a big fat booty hole. This 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 dog's just staying here. This this dog's not moving. He's protecting me. He's protecting me from the, uh, the drunk man. And oh my god, the drunk man got me. Sorry, dogs, but I'm on his side now. See you later. Now we have 12 minutes, and this is. Fucking hell, Doris is that map. This is the fastest episode uh, for getting all the questions done. Out of 10, what would oh you my. rate Doris? And the reason why? Okay, a solid 8 out of 10. Woo! Like, I love everything about it, right? But one sticky zombie! Two, the best wonder weapon in the map, the Wonder Wolf, could be the most useless thing if used wrong. Oh yeah. So yeah, besides all those, I love the map entirely, man. So good. So if I had to give it Oh god. I'm it's over five for anyone who says anything. God, what could I say? 
What the... Um... You could say that two for Xbox is the best. <laughs> I'm gonna give it... I'm gonna give it a 7 over 10. I'll give it a 7 over 10. 7?! No. What?! I do love Doris. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing I hate about Doris. But just the fact that, like, I'm a weirdo. And there's loads more maps out there that I like more than Doris. That has its functionalities, as we should say. Um, there's just a lot more that I like more than Doris. And that would be probably most of my reasons for uh, the other maps too, so... Just be ready to hate on me in the future for Zombies Replay. Um, but yeah, personally, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I don't hate Doris. There's nothing really bad about Doris. It's just a chill, simple map to play with friends. Not really t bad or anything. I like how they brought it back in Black Ops 1 and specifically Black Ops 3 too. Um, so that was really cool for Treyarch to do. But apart from that, that's really it. There's nothing really bad about Doris, and I think you could agree, Xbox. Um, when it comes yeah. to the World at War version, yeah, it's like zombies, but in BO1, um, not really a problem or anything. And when it comes to BO3, it's literally glorious, especially with its graphics. And Stucky Zombies! Uh, yeah, I, I've totally not went down for it. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Uh, Xbox, uh, this has probably been the fastest episode to get through all the, all the questions, because as of right now, we have nine minutes. <laughs> nine minutes left. Oh uh, my god. Right, we're going to do the stupidest thing as possible when it comes to the race. Also, guess what I pack a punch, Corky. Oh damn. Th th this, this man's gone prepped. This man's gone prepped <laughs> with the Colt. <laughs> Uh, Xbox, uh, I don't yes. know about you, but uh, I'm poor for uh, ammo and everything, so I'm going to rely on you on the catwalk, and I'm just going to set you Yes, up. I the bouncing bitties. Oh my god, this man's got the bouncing bitties. The <laughs> grenade launcher them over in. Oh man, oh man. The race is See, fun. See, that's the thing. If you, if you could pack points M1 Grand and the grenade launcher could actually be upgraded somehow, that would have been amazing. Yeah, that would have been cool, because the grenade launcher and the M1 Grand is not even that bad. I used it. Uh, once against the dog, don't even die, somehow. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it's a cool functionality for like an M1 Grand that I can't see, I can't see, all I see is white, I'm dead. I suppose I've not went down five times, I promise. Man, the race is uh, just a really cool map. There, there's nothing bad about the race. I, I think this is probably going to be one of these episodes where it's like, can we really say anything bad about a map that's like actually good? Like, there is, like, I get the feeling where it comes, like, World of War and stuff, we gotta give it the benefit of the doubt that it was, like, it was made in 2008. That's one of my reasons. Oh, yeah. So, there's really nothing bad we can technically say about it, but at the same time, we could, because, like, I did add in the question where we can add or change, but it's, like, it was made in 2008, and there is, is, like, a good map, like, Everyone gives praise to this map. It's a chill map. There's really nothing bad about Therese. I, I literally can't think of one bad thing about the Well, actually, no, that's not true. Juggernaut with uh, Wonder Wolf, yeah, true that. But all in all, there's just really nothing bad I can say about Therese. I'm telling you right now, comments, d chat, someone. Just type in the comments something that's actually not the best on Therese. It can be from any version. It can be from BO1. Black Ops 3 or World at War, just let us know, because we I literally can't think of anything bad about Doris. I don't know about you, Xbox, but I personally can't think of anything bad about Doris. There's really you nothing. Need like, yeah, it's got, it's like, mess ups with Jug and Wonder, Wonder Wolf, yeah, but it's like... It's 2008! It was made in 2008. I was even in first grade at the time. <laughs> yeah, like, there's nothing bad we can say. I, I, I can't get that out of my mind now. I literally can't think of anything good about Doris Xbox. I should stop letting you do the work and I should probably search in my STG. Also, can I just say that the FG42 has the best pack punch name? 420 Impeller. Oh, yes. Yes. 420! Uh, 420. But yeah, lads, so uh, I know we've got five minutes left Xbox as the timer is going. I just want to say... Thank you for hopping on again for episode 4 of Zombies Replay. So, thank you, Xbox, for joining in. Thank you, man. It's fun. And yeah. I love the series. Yeah, so, good. so, the reason why I decided to get Xbox back on again, for anyone's wondering, and you'll probably see more of them in the future coming episodes, 
the reason why I got him in again, specifically for Therese, is due to the fact that most people that I talk to, either from C4C or someone I've just met in the Zombies community, mostly has PS4, and we all know that Call of Duty World at War does not have PS4. And when it comes to uh, Therese, uh, well, or World at War Zombies as a whole, most people had it on Xbox, because DLCs would be first by then. Xbox is a top representative! Yeah. Um, but, oh, okay. yeah, and oh, Xbox my. is one of the people who only does have um, World at War on Xbox. There's other people as well, like I said, with Nubi, um, but his Xbox wasn't working, so we did have to do uh, the remaster. And, uh, yeah, we'll hop on the remaster sometime on BO3 and stuff, but that's only to, like, mainly talk about World at War and just... Want to cover stuff up in the future? Oh god, Xbox, I'm dead! I'm dead! But, in, no. in the future no. coming episodes, lads, take Ascension, for example. Um, if we were playing BO3 Ascension, we wouldn't just be talking about BO3 Ascension. We would be talking about BO1 and stuff, and I did just... <laughs> um, we would be talking about Black Ops 1 Ascension as well. But, uh, oh no, like... If there's nothing we can do, if we can at least record the map, remaster or not, specifically remaster, that's it. We won't talk about the remaster itself, we mainly want to talk about the original, but for gameplay wise, if we can't get on the specific map, but we can get on the remaster, we'll play the remaster. So yeah, but in this case, I thought I'd bring on Xbox again, because the man's a mad lad, he streams daily, and he's a mad lad, yeah. and he does have uh, World of War Darius, and the man likes Darius. So, I thought I'd bring him on again. And again, lads, if you do want to see Xbox within the future episodes of Zombies Replay, do let me know in the comments and I'll hit Xbox okay. again. And possibly... Again! Po po <laughs> pos possibly for Black Ops 2. So, w would you be down for that, Mr. Uh, Xbox Nikolai? Oh, yes. I would love it. <laughs> yeah, lads. So, do it again. Make sure to go subscribe to Xbox in the description below. So, yeah, lads, I'll also link Xbox's Twitch link in the description below. We only streams on YouTube, but... There'll be days. There'll be days. But, uh, yeah, Xbox, hey, hey, again, hey. thank you for hopping on uh, for the fourth episode of uh, The Reese for the Summage Replay. Thank you, man. Ton of fun. So, yeah, lads, just want to let you know the next episode will be all the four episodes that I've done on World at War. Uh, will be all squashed into one episode to show. So, it's like an accomplishment to show that we've at least talked about all the World at War zombies maps. Then, at the end of the video, I'll personally give. World at War Zombies as something out for it because there's four maps on World at War Zombies. We've gave it a 10 out of something each, so it all leads up to something out of 40. So that's what I'll do at the end of the next episode. So, yeah, Zombies Replay Episode 5 will be covering Zombies Replay Episode 1, 2, 3, and 4, all squashed into one video. So, yeah. But, yeah, do check out okay. Xbox, Expert Fusion, and Nubi because that's the next episode that will be coming up soon. Uh, and it'll be sooner than expected, kids. I just need to get the videos, put them together, and boom, that's been done. Um, as a whole, like, it's been 30 minutes, so it, it'll probably be a two hour video. <laughs> but, um, oh don't, don't worry, lads. It, 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 it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Um, but yeah, Xbox, we have one minute left. We've got to do something stupid. What do you do at this time, Xbox? If you if you have to do something oh. stupid, but you have one minute, what do you do? Uh, 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 Karnan AK only, by the Karnan AK. Right, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, right. Karnan AK, right. right. Karnan AK, right. I've got the Karnan AK. Boys, we've got to do a no right. stop on That's the zombies. <laughs> you actually have to go to headshot. That, that, that's my, not... that's mine, right. just took my zombie. Right, what, what? I'm so... Right, got to do a 360 no scope. <laughs> Fuck, messed up, messed up, messed up, messed up. Gotta go again, gotta go again. Shit! 60 no scope! Okay. Yes! I hit it, I hit it, lads. I hit it. And we end it <laughs> off with a max ammo. And that is the 38 minute timer done for Zombies Replay Episode 4 Xbox. Awesome! So yeah lads, again, thank you Xbox for coming on for Zombies Replay Episode 4. So yeah lads, do expect <laughs> Xbox to come in the future episodes. Uh, his link will be in the description below to his Twitch and, and his YouTube, so go make sure to subscribe on his YouTube and follow him on Twitch there. And I'll leave a link to his Twitter. Normally I don't leave a link on Twitter because I'm an asshole. 
I should probably do that more often. <laughs> um, but do check out uh, oh, Xbox's Twitter in the description below because YouTube notifications are dumb sometimes. Dumb. But apart from that, Xbox oh, yeah. is probably one of the nicest guys in the community, so do go check him out in the description below. Basically, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode for Zombies Replay Episode 5, where we cover all the episodes within World at War. See ya, and goodbye!